That's another project done and another huge collection of things learned. You should be starting to get into the swing of things now, but don't let yourself become immune to your success. In this tutorial alone, you've learned about load view, WK web view, delegation, URL, URL request, UI toolbar, UI progress view, KVO, and more. So you should be proud of your fantastic accomplishments. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you should try building on this app to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, if users try to visit a URL that isn't allowed, show an alert saying it's blocked. Second, try making two new toolbar items with the titles back and forward. You should make them use webview.goback and webview.goforward for their action. And third, for more of a challenge, try changing the initial view controller to be a table view controller, like in project one, where users can choose their website from a list rather than just having the first item in the array loaded up front.